B Monster Laboratory here. Today we're going to review the SEMA X20 remote control pocket drone. Let's check it out. There is no downloadable app with this drone, so what you get is the drone and a remote control. It's a line of sight drone and it handles poorly in 10 to 15 mile an hour winds, which is what we consistently get in our backyard. So I'm going to have to pick a day to uh, review this outside on a day when there's not as much wind. But for now, I'm going to review it as an indoor drone. Here's everything you're going to get when you purchase this drone. You're going to get the uh, precautions for the battery. You're going to get the drone. You're going to get the remote control without batteries. You're going to get a screwdriver, which comes in handy. This is a resealable bag to keep all your small parts in. They give you four blades then they give you this little warning label to put on your charging cable. They also include a charging cable here uh, along with this package. And uh, this is some customer support information, whether you're happy or not happy with your purchase. And they include a user manual in English and in German. You'll get about five minutes of flight time. After that, you're going to have to charge it up using the USB. It is inconvenient and unfortunate but you can't remove the batteries from this drone. The battery in this drone is a rechargeable 3.7 volt, 180 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery. When charging your drone, if you plug the USB into your computer, it'll take about 60 minutes or so to charge, to fully charge. The controller is actually pretty nice. It's very smooth. And if you look at it, these uh, toggle buttons here, these joystick buttons barely come up above the surface. They're kind of like slider buttons. You can see as I'm using it, the joysticks just kind of shift around. They kind of slide around. Um, I actually kind of, I like it a lot. I do. I, it's very responsive. It makes for a very good controller for uh, indoor use. It does slide right into your pocket very easy. And since it doesn't have grips on it and it slides into your pocket easy, it must mean that it's easily dropped. So there are several buttons on the controller. Now if you look at the top here, this button over here on the left, this one is for your high and low speed to, to switch between high and low speed. It's also for your headless mode. If you look at this button over here on the right, it's for your 360 stunt, your flip button. That's where you do tricks. And if you press them both together, it's a one key landing or one key takeoff. It's a quick landing, quick takeoff. And all you have to do is just tap them simultaneously and that's it. And of course you have your left and right joystick to control the altitude and direction of your drone. And this button down here is for fine tuning your drone. When your drone starts to drift, you're gonna use this button plus one of your two joysticks to kind of level it out and prevent the drifting. And located right here in the middle, we have the power button. And once the battery cover is removed, you can see right here that the remote control takes four AAA batteries. And when you're ready to start your drone, you want to turn your power button on on your remote control. Then you want to hold the button down on top of your drone for just a couple of seconds until the lights light up. And now you'll see the lights flashing really fast on the drone. Then you want to take the controller and you want to do a quick up and down on the left joystick. You go up and then all the way down and then you see it's solid now. Now it's connected and it's in standby for flight. There are three different ways to start up the blades on your drone. The easiest way to do it and the quickest way is just to press up on your left joystick and then back down to center and then your blade should start right up. The second way to start the blades would be to take your both joysticks and press them down and inward for just a second. And the third way is just to press these top two buttons and it'll immediately just take right off. If you want to land your drone and stop the blades from spinning, you can either press down and back up on the left joystick. You can press down and to the center on both joysticks, or you can just press the top two buttons here and that will land it as well. 
There we go. If your drone is drifting forward or backward, you want to hold the A button down. This is the A button. And while you're holding it down, you want to lightly push up or down on this joystick to fine tune it to stop it from drifting. If you're drifting from left to right, you want to hold the A button down. And while you're holding it down, you want to lightly press left or right to take care of your drifting problem. But don't let up on the A button until it stops drifting. If your drone is rotating and spinning in a circle, you want to hold the A button down while pressing left or right on this joystick. But don't let up on your A button until you've taken care of the spinning. This drone does have low voltage protection, so right before the battery is about to die, the lights on the bottom will start blinking and it'll begin to land. And at that point, it's pretty hard to get any altitude on your drone. If it's far out, you can try to bring it in as much as you can, but uh, it'll start to land so that it just doesn't fall out of the sky and more importantly, so that the battery doesn't go completely dead. Did you turn it off then? No, it'll, it'll go down on its own. Oh, really? You know what? Just blinking lights? Mm-hmm. See, now I can't control it. Oh, it's done. And it stopped on its own. Huh. Ta-da. To do the level calibration function, you slide these two buttons down and to the right. You'll see the LEDs blink, and when they stop blinking, that means it's calibrated for level. Now it's calibrated to be level. And level flight is important, by the way. The 360 stunt flip is actually pretty neat. In order to do that, you want to hold your right top button here. You want to hold that down and then press up or down or left or right on your right joystick. And it will flip forward or backward, left or right. If you're flying your drone and you hit head on with an object, you can throw the direction off a little bit. In that case, just set it down on a flat surface and the direction it would be flying and slide your your joysticks down and to the left to recalibrate the direction. And doing this will redefine the front and back of your drone. Once the lights stop blinking, you've been recalibrated. I don't use headless mode, but I believe you need to do this before holding down the top left button to go into headless mode. This is an excellent indoor drone. I wish the battery did last a little longer than five minutes flight time. The controller is really easy to use. It's very responsive, it's easy to store, and easy to carry. The drone itself is very durable. You can crash it, you can fall from pretty high up and just be fine. In fact, I landed it in dog water, a dog's water dish, and it got totally soaked, but still flies just as it always did. It is an excellent beginner drone, and before you know it, you'll be zipping around the house, around corners, under tables, and uh, it's just really a lot of fun. It does operate on a 2.4 GHz frequency. I like the fact that the LEDs are really bright and you can see them from anywhere. I like the option for headless mode for those people who are very new to this. I don't use headless mode because this is an excellent beginner drone to practice uh, steering out of headless mode. So I don't really use that, but I think it's a, it's a good option to have. You can change the speed from a low, more leisurely flight to a quicker, sporty type of flight. I think it's well balanced and uh, it'll be fun for a long time. Well, that's all I've got for today. Let me know what you think about the video in the comments down below. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe to the channel. As always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again very soon.